Hey everyone, this will be a quick video in which I will show you uh, how we can uh, change the uh, change the functionality of percentage of total to not get affected by the dimension filters. So first of all, I will uh, create a create the normal percentage of total to just show you what I mean to say. So for example, I have these uh, not segments. For example, I have these categories over here. Okay, so we have three categories in our data, which is furniture, office supplies, and technology. And we have sales over here, which are uh, like our sum of sales. I will just put it inside the labels. And if I want to calculate the percentage of total, so what I will simply do is I will just click over here. I will go to the quick table calculation and I will just select on percentage of total. So if we just sum it up or if we just sum it up, so it will give me the result 100%. But say I also want to create a filter for category. So I will just right click over here and I will click on show filter. So I've got a filter for category. But suppose in case, uh, for, for example, if I just select only office, uh, if I remove office supplies from here and if I just select only furniture and technology. So see, as you can see, the percentage are also changing. But uh, but my but my business requirement is uh, but my but my business requirement is such that I don't want this uh, this percentages to be changed uh, based on dimension filters. I mean if if I I mean exactly it was initially the percentage of office supplies was 31 31 percentage, so it should remain 31. So let me just show you how we can do that. So for that I will be creating a calculation, and uh, this calculation will be normal sales, sum of sales divided by max of sum of sales and this will be an LOD so it will be just like this okay and uh, I will name this particular calculation as uh, cal calculation as percent of total uh, and sum. So this is the calculation which I have created, and uh, as you can see, sum of sales divided by max, uh, divided by max of sum of sales, and this sum of sales is basically an LOD. Uh, so this calculation has been created. Now I will drag this particular calculation again on the text shell, and uh, I will just convert it to a table. I will just change it to an entire view. Yeah. Okay, now I will, uh, it is coming in this format and now I will just quickly change it to a percentage. So I will just uh, right click, I will go to the format option, uh, numbers and uh, yeah, percentage option. So as you can see, it has been now changed to a percentage. And now if I just change the, uh, change the filter, say uh, I remove the office supplies. So see this 32.30 uh, is still remaining against furniture, but against this, it is changing. I'm not saying that this is wrong. But if our business use cases says that we want to retain the original percentage, then we can use this calculation instead of doing doing this. Uh, I mean, instead of just right clicking and doing the quick table calculation. So this was a quick video and I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much.